Oh. Oh, the police officers. Yeah. Yeah. Still looking for the... Or I guess they found the phone, but still looking still for Still looking us. for the kid. Okay. So I think for today, let's just try and finish off this area, if we can. Because I think Look we finished off... Look at all these water containers. Mm -hmm. Which ones? Oh. Oh, yeah. it's just... I, the Whoa. drakes are thirsty. They they replaced all the wells, so we kind of had to. Now, is the one you definitely want to level up. Yeah. Because they have regenerate. Yeah, so we need to find quartz. Quartz. Now, we were going to go to the... So do we still have stuff on the other islands? We do. Oh, there's still infestations lonesome... on the yeah, Lonesome, lonesome... Hills. Yeah, yeah. I just connected all of them and then went to the very end. Okay. Uh, I didn't actually bother to clear them out. Let's see, is this game based on something? Kind of loosely based on the Salem Witch Trials, sort of. But it's loose. Let's see. So I'm probably going to work on the furthest isl islands first and then... uh then pick up the waypoints on the way back? I don't know. It, mm -hmm. it do doesn't really matter. You can focus on what you want to work on. I mean, I'll start clearing out more of the infestations. Yep. Here it is level four, so not so much. Yeah, I think I had gotten a decent amount. Maybe, maybe you had started on one of those? I don't really know. I... <sighs> This week, this month, this year has been a bit of a fever dream for me. And so I'm I'm trying to keep on top of everything, but like, it's easy for me to just forget everything that I did during the week. Ooh, this church is loaded. Oh, wait, where are you? Are you on, oh, you're on green orchards. Yep. Should I just continue on to where you are and? Yeah, sure. Because, like I said, what I want to do is get the furthest ones first, and then disconnect them. Ah. Uh, it mm -hmm. doesn't really matter too much, but I'm usually going to just spend a lot of my time uh, connecting locations. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. I don't really have a plan. As long as, as, long as we're doing something productive with our time, then it's worth doing. Okay. This well, church was loaded with shoelaces. Shoelaces. Juice boxes. Yeah. Well, what is that thing? Oh, no, no, no. It's just a piece of the highway. It was out in the middle of the water. Got me excited okay. for a second. I would like to see some, like, original structures that aren't just ruins. Like, that would be kind of cool if the, uh, the bad boys had actually started building stuff themselves. Now, that grove of trees looks awfully suspicious, though I don't know if you had already gotten a... Usually there's a I treasure chest in the middle There was a treasure chest there. That was the one that you had me run for. Yeah. Just to see if you'd get any clothes. It's okay. I'm, pr I'm pretty comfortable with what I've got. If there were cooler, cooler clothes than what we found, maybe I'd care about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a blurry edge around my screen. I know some people were complaining about that, and I hadn't noticed it. Really? Um, or, yeah. Unfortunately, it does not seem like there's any way for me to turn that off. Uh, yeah? Shelly Moon has left the hollow? Carl, can you hear yeah. me? Yes, I can. It, it booted me out. Okay. Uh, you should just be able to join off of Steam. Really? I don't think I can. Pretty sure you can. Give it a shot. No, I can't. You're going to have to invite me again. Alright. Uh, let's see. Invite to lobby. I wonder if I'll still be at the main base, or if I'll be back on the island. You'll probably be I'm back, back on base. the island. Okay, oh, yeah. Are? Hey. Yeah, what happened was I found... Yeah, there's the bridge. 
I found all the corrupted vines, and when I tried to jump down to hit them... Yeah, there we go. Now I can actually hit it. What had happened was I had started hitting it and nothing happened. And I was going, huh, why is that? Yep, just a weird network blip. It's been funky lately, and I get the feeling it's probably going to be funky until fall properly hits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Island hey. cleared. Island cleared. Yes. So does that leave anything else? Yes. So it's cleared, but there's still a cache of bricks somewhere. And a fair bit of loot. Okay. I also know that there's a large, large creature over here. Let's see. Keep an eye out for a truck, by the way. There should be one here. Okay. Hmm. And still, like, a lot of loot bits to find. I'll take a look for it. Not here. Did you comb the entire beach? I haven't. I've been up high. I spent a lot of time near and around the church. Oh, First okay. come source, we hit a dowsing rod or two. But I figure we can hopefully find the truck without it. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. 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 You okay? Oh, I died. Can you get me? Sure. It was Give so embarrassing. I was just crossing a little bit of water, and it was sandy. So yep. I thought that any I, I moment... I was there. I actually... I had you to died there? A... Uh, I didn't die there, but I got close. Unfortunately, and... I paused to try to find the crystal, like the aether crystal, and I couldn't get it in time. Yep. Because what I was looking for is I wanted to see if there was anything... Like, you see this stream system? That cuts through the island. Yeah, I, I didn't know if it, it was there. hiding. I was um, down there. I didn't see it here. No, I it's got, okay. I got some dowsing rods. Okay, there's a chest to your right. A chest down oh. below. Oh, that's interesting. When you use the dowsing rod, I could very briefly see things. Yeah, yeah, it's just a ping. Okay, I don't think there's anything else oh, up I, here. Oh, I'm hearing there's the music. A shopping... Yeah, I see it. Oh, did you get it? Yeah, there's a shopping cart down in the Merc. There we go. Still haven't found that cat. Oh, cash, not truck. So that was the cash. Okay. okay. So at this point, it's just there might be another trash can or a bit of rubbish sitting somewhere. Yeah, it was over here. Here it is. It's a toilet. Okay. <laughs> I think that was it. Yep, we're good. Uh, apparently there's a note. Check the church. Okay, that would be the most logical place for it to be. Yep. I don't know if it'll be Mason's or it'll, if it will be Howe's, but we can look. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Ouija board, for the 27-month resub. Whack. What? Also, Wonder, did you take to, uh, yesterday off because Crafto Tor uh, Craftopia broke you so hard? I just need days off from time to time. This year has been bad, and so I've been trying to take some more mental health days. Uh, just to sit down and kind of focus on what I need to. Uh, let's see. Note on the pulpit? No. It might be outside. I can't break the windows. Yeah. I'm not seeing on the exterior of this side of the church. No. Hmm. I'm not seeing it anywhere there. Uh, I don't, I don't know where it'd be. I'm going to check every single pew. Nope. Maybe on the other side of this door. No.
If I were, can you push these doors? No, it's not on the other side of that door. Yeah, they're not interactable. What other structures are there, really? I don't think there are. Because there's these poles, these light poles. I don't know if... And I don't believe there's a way to get on top of the... church? Hmm. Because it would be cool to be able to get up into the steeple. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can... I don't think we can build here. Yeah. So it, it would have to be on a bridge or... Sometimes it's on stone walls. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those, though. So you, there is a note here? It said there, it said there was a note on the map. One note. You're right. There's a pier out here. Oh, found it. You did? Yep. Who is Sarah it? Howe. Sarah Howe. Yeah, I'll just wait next to it. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can get to you. Yeah, I'll just wait here. Yeah, the other reason why I've been, uh, I took the day off, yeah, I needed to clear my storage drives. I had, I started yesterday with 10 gigabytes, and by the end of it, I had about 40. And I could clear out about another two, 300, if I wanted to right now. I'd like to clear out more, but I spent a lot of time working on D&D stuff. Uh, because I'm going to be running a campaign for seemingly, like, 12 people. And that's <laughs> going to be wild? Alternating, or are you yeah. actually no? It's only going to be oh, okay. it's only going to be four people at a time because trying to do all twelve at once would be true nightmares. Mm hmm. Gems. When pressed, like a gift from heaven, the plants bestow me with gems. They are such beauteous things. If I were to gather just a few in my pocket and find a way home, I'd surely be rich and want for nothing. But time is passing, and I see no way home. I am rich instead with the sky and the fox and the bird and the plants. Okay. So at this point you want to go back to the lonesome lonesome yeah. hills. Un unfortunately, I might get a little distracted here and there because all of the players uh like all of the wholesome verse are talking D&D &D today. And uh. I want to keep mildly apprised of it so I don't have, like, a half a billion uh, chat messages to pour through, like, in six hours when I'm done streaming. Mm, yeah, but you shouldn't be looking at that while we're streaming. Oh, no. I'll just peace out a little bit he here and there. Are these there we quartz? Go. Are we are getting quartz? a lot of gems. I think they... Moonstone? Uh, Moonstone. I think they were... They retooled how enemy drops work because it feels mm -hmm. like we've been getting a lot more gems lately a lot huh. more gems and good weapons interesting i i think it's a little bit overkill for weapons we haven't it, really run into weapon issues here and there i think the issue is that there were no weapons like initially and so they might have overcompensated Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of moonstone, but I don't believe we have any drakes that require moonstone. I got to clear the island. Not yet. But if we max out a drake, who knows? I, especially if we get two s smaller drakes every single time. Oh, I should yeah, probably... Yeah, we'll, we'll find a drake that uses moonstone someday. Yep. I, I don't know if they're all pr like just randomly generated in for each playthrough or what the deal is with I them. I think it's just there's a giant pool. And because I noticed that I had the same two starter ones, like physically, they looked exactly the same and they had the same buffs, but they had different names. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. By the way, keep an eye out. There are we have one note and then some items. Yeah. There are blueprints. There we go. I guess schematics. Let's see. For the campaign, is it going to be a preset campaign setting or my own thing? Always my own thing. 
I could use somebody else's campaign setting, but why? It doesn't really give you that much. I mean, I suppose people always tweak things they in their retellings, but it's one of those things where you don't want to do a Star Wars campaign. I know that some people have done it, but it's just one of those things where it just doesn't feel like the content is really yours. Yeah, and if you I were to ever do a, yeah, if I were to ever even do a Star Wars campaign, it would probably be like, uh, not so long time ago, in a completely different galaxy than the one everyone else knows from Star Wars lore. Well, then at and that point, why not just run a homebrew yeah, Starfinder? I, I would mostly just use it for the uh, the mechanics. The mechanics and the. Uh, Let's see. The mechanics and kind of the, the familiar bits, you know, lightsabers, and X-wings, and... Whoa, whoa, whoa like, wait. No, no, no. You wouldn't want to do that, though. Well, if I were to do a uh, Star Wars campaign, I would be doing it to include those because, you know, those those are fun. But there wouldn't be so much as a whisper of a Skywalker. Because, <laughs> quite honestly, kind of sick of those. Oh, it's a Mason one. It's in the house. All right, give me a second. Because, yeah, I, I, I like Star Wars as, as much as the next person that grew up with it, but it's just kind of like... But I'd rather create my own universe where I can come up with weird homebrew garbage. Like, for example, uh, one of the new homebrewy things is going to be that all goblins went to the moon, and no one knows why. <laughs> That's just going to be canon for most of my campaigns. Yep. One second. What's up? I just had to. I'm I'm ripping up uh, waypoints. To bring uh, them back with us. okay. We're gonna get started on that earlier than usual. Oops. I like the way the person painted this house. It's a nice lilac purple on the inside. It reminds me of my bedroom back home. The other thing is I feel like players can get more ownership over, like, a wholly unique world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't feel bad about... I don't necessarily want to say, like, marketing or merchandising your campaign. Oh, that especially, yeah. But... Here it is. Page from the Journal of Noble Mason, In Good Pursuit. The dogs have caught the trail of how suspected familiar a cat skulking in shadow. The light fading we pursue. We remain dauntless, a righteous mob, nearly two score strong. None shall elude us, I say, to them and thee. Fie on any who seek to stunt our will. Translation for that line is, you know... Curse we those are righteous. Who... Well, yeah. no, no, no. It's just curse those who try to stop us. Yep. To stunt our will. That's what it meant. Okay. Uh, there's still a schematic, by the way, over to the left. If you want to grab it. A schematic? Where? Yep. Check the map. Because schematics are actually marked on the map, which is super nice. Oh, I see. It's a little sheet of paper. It was yep. a little... a little confusing. Yeah, they're hard to spot, but we need them bad. Because we're starting to get some pretty expensive blueprints here. Wait, I don't see it anymore. Uh, it's further out. Or is it not on the map? Let's see. You always get imposter syndrome when I look at pre-made stuff. Do you get that? Oh, I found it. it. Like... Hearing about a pre-made or other world makes me feel like everything I write is terrible. Well, that's not imposter's... Is that... I guess that's kind of imposter syndrome. Wait, imposter what? syndrome is like, I don't feel like I belong here. So, like, for me, imposter syndrome is like, I don't actually you, feel let's like... Let's go say that you go to a PAX convention and you're in a room with a bunch of YouTubers, but you don't feel... Yeah, it would be like if you were somehow on a panel with Critical Role, talking about... Uh you know, running a D&D &D campaign in your own world and everybody's looking at you like you're an expert. 
and you're like, I'm just a guy. What? Uh, chances are what you mean is feelings of inadequacy. Uh, not I realize I'm being terribly pedantic here and I shouldn't be. Well, and the other thing to put into context is with pre-established universes, people spent years embellishing upon them. Decades yep. embellishing upon them. And some of them have had hundreds of people contribute to it. So Not only that, they've had hundreds of people contributing to them, but they've had their whole life. You should uh, hop off this island, by the way, because I'm disconnecting it. Yep, I am. Oh, wait. I'm actually heading back to the main base. There's a shoelace. Ah, eh, screw it. We don't need shoelaces. Yeah, we don't need shoelaces. Uh, but the easiest way I can say to get around that is if you are feeling inadequate looking at pre-made stuff, stop looking at pre-made stuff. Uh, at least until you feel more confident in yourself. I mean, Read realistically, a book yeah, instead. like. Mm -hmm. But the other thing too is, if you're will world building, and I love world building, it's it's one of my favorite things to contemplate. Like, and the thing is. You can pretty much, when you make homebrew campaigns, ooh, I can give crystals to this guy. Eh, I'll obtain their gift first. I don't know which one you want to give crystals to. But uh, the thing about the with the exception of the healing one, I don't really have any strict preferences. Ah, okay. Yeah, the thing about world building is pretty much for every homebrew campaign, especially with things like D&D &D and such, really... All you need to do is figure out what you want the aesthetic of your world to be. Do you want it to be, you know, a high fantasy? Do you want it to be low fantasy? Uh, do you want there to be some magitech in there? Do you want it to be sort of steampunky or even sort of gothic horror? There, there, there are genres, but then the thing too is you have to figure out, okay, what races will there be in the world? So if you're doing the gothic horror genre you'd probably want there you're to be you're describing how to put together a world though and oh, okay. i think the, the question is more of how do you feel like you did fine but and i thought that i thought that the reason why someone feels bad about doing the homebrew is that they don't have an exciting or established world to build off of and i'm saying that it there well, are ways I, to I guess that's build a, fair a, point. a world that can rival the pre-existing ones. The only thing that the pre-existing ones have on top of a world that you create is familiarity. Yeah, I. at the same time, I guess I would truly say it doesn't matter even what your world is. That, you, you know, have to there are so craft many, a good story. Yeah, there are so many unique worlds out there, but the best fantasy media I have ever read and experienced was some of the most generic tropey nonsense but it handled it well because it it was self-aware pretty much uh, they probably learned from all the things that they grew up enjoying and said hey I never liked how this universe had this or I always thought that this one would be improved with that mm-hmm and especially for, like, a tabletop campaign where you're playing with other people. Oh, shoot, we have a raid in a uh, minute and a half. Yep, that's why I'm here. Okay. I am at the base. Uh, but so... Especially for, like, a tabletop cam campaign with your friends, it's sometimes more fun to, like, take those tropes, those, those things that seem so badass and epic, and then lampoon them a little bit, play with it, screw around. You know, what if... What if some terrible tragedy in ha had happened and a magic spell gone awry deleted all gnomes from existence? Like, what? all of a sudden... Just gnomes? What? Yeah. And, like, all of a sudden, that takes your kind of standard, boring fantasy realm and gives it a really odd twist. You know, how could this happen? Why did this happen? How the heck did this happen? And suddenly, it's a lot more interesting. And so it'd be really weird if there have... was a story or a world where using magic slowly kills you over time. Well, that's dark, but I that's I that's not uncommon. 
Like, uh, that's, that's actually one of the main, main-ish things behind Rastlin from Dragonlance, is that, like, he was slowly dying because of, I, either his weak constitution or his magic or both. I don't exactly remember. Mm-hmm. But, like, you can have a painfully generic world as long as you're willing to, to play with how it works. Uh, or not even that. Just, like, sometimes super generic tropey stuff is actually really fun. Uh, let's see. What's a good example of really generic tropey fantasy that I can't get enough of? I now, mean, honestly, I, could make, I could make someone into an elder. Oh, never mind. Yeah, bad it timing. battle time. Honestly, we were watching uh, Clash of the Titans last night, and it was objectively kind of bad. It mm -hmm. wasn't a good movie. Whoops. Well, goodbye, Uber Tree. Uh, let's see. But, you know, the writing wasn't particularly interesting. All of the characters' motivations were dumb. Half the characters were just kind of nobodies and got cycled up pretty quick. But it was a fun movie all the same because, while it didn't do anything terribly different, it was a fun romp all the same. And so... Your goal should not be to make the peak D&D &D campaign setting, uh, or even campaign, you know, to really keep people interested and excited. It's actually a thousand times better uh, to find things that your players are going to find entertaining, and I can guarantee 90% of them are not extreme high fantasy connoisseurs that are going to be like, this isn't up to par. You should read Name of the Wind two more times, and... Immerse yourself in all of Critical Role before you can even hope to DM for me again. It's like, I, <laughs> you're just not worth it anymore at that point. I know that it's interesting. I've read that on occasion, Critical Role, they like they get comments, and there's been a lot of concerns that like people expect that level of competency from DMs. Yep. And well, it's actually soured a lot of people to playing D&D because yes, they uh, feel that pressure. It's not uncommon to actually see a post about this that, you know, one of my players uh, keeps, you know, comparing the campaign unfavorably to Critical Role. What do I do? And the common advice is just like, screw them. Like, who cares? They just, they don't want to be here for you. Uh, so, you know, why cater to their needs? Maybe a little bit negative, but like anybody that is foisting that kind of negative expectation in your in your direction probably isn't worth DMing for. Mm-hmm. Well, and the other thing too is with you and your campaigns, like they have interesting villains and creatures and things, but we derail stuff all the time. So I, yeah. as a DM, you have to be pretty flexible regardless and actually we find that uh, have you ever seen those memes where they have the lord of the rings party and they say you know this is what people expect when they set out on a D, &D adventure with their party and yes. then it shows this is what really happens and it's just monty python and the holy grail pretty much but the thing so is like things from my tend perspective, to devolve into Goofest. I remember the Monty Python campaign so much more than the Lord of the Rings campaigns. It's funny it's... how we're referring them to campaigns now. <laughs> I mean... Party embarks on an epic adventure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nepor. Oh. Tula is the 30% shop discount. We want to buff him, don't we? Yeah. I mean, don't worry about it too much. At but yeah, point. that that one's really good. Oh, this one sprint faster. I don't know if you want to sprint even more swiftly. They're currently at mature. Let's see. The brain says that people do that and makes me just lose confidence. I The only other thing I could really say is... Wait, what about losing confidence? 
uh, just, you know, in, in the quality of the campaign and your ability to make something decent. Oh, hey, we're up to stone walls. That's nice. Oh, whoops. Hey, buff slot unlocked. <gasps> yes, Garpling. Obtain buff. Buff me. Uh, there we go. Oh, buff. Yeah, 20%. I, I really like the colorations on this guy. 20% melee damage. Seems worth it. I think I have his buff. Yeah, I do. I think the other thing is, if you were having trouble... I have his buff, buff plus the archery buff, which has been really good. Mm -hmm. At least for you saving You mean the one arrows. where you have extra, extra ammo? Ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to give more Tiger's Eye to Muser. 